Hi everybody, this is Kevin Christman here. I wanted to do something a little different for my article for Flyers Faithful this week. I wanted to take, take a quick look at, a, at some advanced stats and sh show you how I like to use them. Um, I know advanced stats can be a bit of a polarizing topic, but what I like to do is use them um, to confirm what it is that I observe, or that I think I observe, at least, when I actually watch the games. And on the rare occasion, if, if some particular statistic really jumps out at me, I'll use that to help drive what it is I might look for in, in my future observation. So uh, one site I really like to use is extraskater.com. And if you come here and go to games, you can look up all recent games or even currently ongoing games, as we see here. Um, so the game I want to use is the Flyers game against the Penguins uh, last week. So if we go in there, we see an, a number of different or quite a quite a lot of information actually um, can be I guess a, a little overwhelming if you don't really know what you're looking at. Um, up at the top you have team stats and here's the the Corsi numbers. You always hear a lot about Corsi, which is essentially shot differential, um, and you can see that the Penguins outshot or out attempted shot uh, the Flyers quite a bit. Um, but what I want to do is, is look at a few specific individuals. And in this case, um, when observing the game, I thought that Sean Couturier and Matt Reed had particularly strong games, especially given that it looked like they were playing against Crosby quite a bit. So um, the, the first thing that I like to do is confirm um, those matchups. So did Couturier and Reed play against Crosby as much as I thought they did? So if we scroll down, um, and we look at player deployment, and we can go to the Flyers. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, not player deployment, player matchups. Um, and we'll go to the Flyers matchups, and then you can click on Couturier, and sure enough, it shows you that he played against Crosby the most. Um, and then uh, if we find Reed, you know, we can see that that's the same. And in fact, if you come up above to the Penguins, and we click on Crosby, we'll see that Couturier and Reed and Downey, of course, because he was playing on that line, played against him the most. So sure enough, yes, Couturier's line played um, against Crosby more than anybody else. So the next thing I like to look at is zone, start, which, zone starts, which is simply um, where on the ice are you starting your ships? Is it in the offensive zone, the defensive zone, or the neutral zone? Um, that goes a long way in determining your role and, and frankly, what sort of numbers you sh can be expected to put up. If if you're starting 70% of your shifts in the offensive zone, you're probably going to get points by accident. Um, whereas if you're if you're starting 70% of your shifts in the defensive zone, um, it, you're going to struggle to put up points, frankly, because you have a long way to go. And um, conversely, on the, on the other hand of, of what I mentioned before, you're going to have um, the opponent's going to put up points by accident sometimes. So you're going to be on the other end of that. So um, let's look at, at zone starts. So if we look at the flyers here, and this time we're under player deployment, um, we'll, we'll sort by offensive zone start percentage. We'll do uh, ascending order. So here we see actually that Couturier and Reed only started 11.1% of their shifts in the offensive zone. Um, the only ones that were less than them were frankly the fourth liners. Um, so they only had three shifts each starting in the offensive zone. Um, and Couturier and Reed had 10 in the defensive zone. So here, um, this tells us basically that Couturier and Reed were playing very defensive roles, starting the majority of their shifts in their own end against Sidney Crosby. Um, it, it's a pretty tough task, frankly. Uh, more often than not, you're going to struggle to put up points, and, and if you're looking at traditional plus minus, you're probably going to be a minus player when you're playing against the best player in the world, and you're starting all of your shifts in the defensive zone. He's probably going to score on you quite a bit. But let's take a look at um, Corsi and, and see how the shot differentials came up. So if we go um, to just the player on ice stats for five on five, and we'll go to the Flyers and we'll sort by Corsi four. We look for Couturier, and sure enough, he's at 50%, 14-4, 14 against. And Reed was actually uh, one better in, in the Corsi four at 52.2%. So what does that tell us? So despite the fact that Couturier and Reed were playing against Crosby um, the majority of the time, more than anybody else on the team, and despite the fact that they were starting almost, well, n almost none of their shifts in the offensive zone and quite a few of them in their own end, they still were 50% or better on shot attempts. It's pretty impressive when you think about it. So I just wanted to give a quick glimpse into what it is that 
I do when helping to use advanced statistics, put things into context when I, uh, as I said, when I like to kind of match them up with my observation and use it as a tool. So thanks, thanks for watching.